Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Holly. And, and we, we are, are Worn Out Mama's, Mama's Cannon. Cannon. And today we're going to be canning strawberry jam. Sorry if you haven't seen us in a bit. We've been a little busy having babies. But now we're back and we're ready to show you how to can all the things this summer. We're going to start off by making some strawberry jam. And strawberry jam is our one of our favorite things to do because it's the introduction of canning in the summertime. So strawberries are always made through June and strawberry jam makes a wonderful gift. <laughs> is it good? <laughs> so the thing about strawberries is you're wanting them really red. Um, you don't want a lot of white. So you're wanting really ripe strawberries and you're not gonna find really ripe strawberries probably in your grocery store. You're gonna need to go to like a farmer's market or if you have Amish close by, um, I would go to an Amish. That's where we got ours today. And what we've been doing already is cutting up some just to kind of help because we, we have more to go. All right guys, let's jump into it. We're going to talk about the ingredients that we use first. We're gonna use strawberries, obviously, sugar, lemon juice and pectin and now we're going to talk about our recipe and our recipe is on the back of this pectin box one box of pectin for two quarts of strawberries seven cups of sugar and it says that makes eight eight ounce jars so we actually have four quarts of strawberries this time so we're going to double our recipe as we go so that again for us is four quarts of strawberries 14 cups of sugar half a cup of lemon juice and two, two boxes, boxes of pectin. pectin. Um, there is different pectin. So I know they make a kind that is uh, with less sugar. So if you're needing something with less sugar, I would grab the pink box of pectin. Um, but this is the one we use, the yellow box. The thing about strawberry jam is it's all about how you like it. So we like ours well blended all together no strawberry chunks but other people like chunks of strawberry to spread out on their biscuit or toast or whatever they're using it with but we like ours a smooth well blended strawberry jam so what we're going to do with our cut up strawberries is we're going to put it in a food processor so we also went ahead and got our jars ready we washed and sterilized our jars and this recipe says it's going to make eight eight ounce jars but we're going to use some of these cute little four ounce jars that way we can send some of these as gifts to our teachers for teacher appreciation week and then we'll have some eight ounce jars of what's left just so we can hoard a little bit at the house too every gift that's made with love is just a little bit better right here holly's cutting out any bad parts um, any part where some of the seeds are kind of clustered together because you only want the best for your jam. You want a sweet jam. All right, we've cut up all of our strawberries and now we're going to get to blending. Okay. Yay! Yay. like a smoothie when we're pouring it out. Everybody's different though, so again, if you like chunky, um, you wouldn't do this step. Then we're gonna add our two bags of pectin because remember we're doubling our recipe and then half a cup of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I know we still have sugar to go, but we're gonna wait until that gets to a rolling boil before we add that sugar. And that's gonna be what helps set up the jam. Stir consistently with your jam so it doesn't stick to the bottom of your pan. So now that we have added the sugar, and shout out to our newest worn out mama on over here for doing that for us. But now that we have added 14 cups of sugar, we're gonna get that nice and blended in and bring our mixture back to a rolling boil. We're going to let it boil for a minute, a minute and a half, and we are going to take it off the pot. And then I'm gonna show you the freezer trick for jam to make sure you get the best jam every time. Right? All right, y'all, I swear this is red, but for some reason this lighting makes it look orange. All right, it's been boiling for about a minute and it's starting to rise really good. So we're gonna take it off the heat. And then we are going to scrape off the foam and we're going to show you the freezer trick. Okay, so I know you see a little jam on the bottom, but the rest of this is foam and you do not want it on your um, strawberry jam, so. Okay, so the plate trick. You can do it with a paper plate, but it's best on a plate that gets cold quick. So what you're gonna do is you are going to put a little bit of jam on the plate. And then you are going to stick that in the freezer for 30 seconds, a minute, a minute and a half. And after that, you're gonna see if it sets up. If it sets up to the consistency you like, then you've got good jam. But if it's still liquidy and looks like it did when you took it out of the pot, that means you need to bring your mixture back to a boil and boil it for a little bit longer. And it's really time consuming, but if you want your jam to set up, I would do this trick because nothing's worse than canning all that jam and having it be a liquid instead of a jam. So we left ours in the freezer for about 30 seconds and it's setting up as you can see. So we feel comfortable going ahead and putting it in some jars. All right. Now that we have our jam done, it's time to start filling some jars. We're gonna leave about an inch headspace. And again, we're using some smaller jars, um, some four ounce and then some eight ounce because some of these are gonna be gifts for teachers. and we are going to um, put the rings on finger tight. All right, guys, us worn out mamas are wrapping up and getting ready for bed. At the end of this, I think we're gonna get about 33 jars of strawberry jam for our teacher appreciation week. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe and a huge thumbs up. Bye. Thanks, y'all. Bye. Just wait a second if you like it. <laughs> huh? Oh, good job.